This is just a quick demonstration of the modes that I published yesterday on my blog at classach.scot so that those of you who have read the blog post will be able to hear the modes demonstrated on the harp. So we have three families, major, minor and neutral and each family has four scales or modes within it. You can't play all of them in each tuning of the harp. You can only play three of the four in each tuning. So I'll start with the F natural tuning and then I'll play them all of the ones that you can do that way and then I'll play them all the ones that you can do with the F sharp tuning. And I've retuned the harp to 440 just so it's more obvious and easy to hear what the pitches are that we're using. So the, the major scales, we'll start with C major. Okay, the second major scale on my list is a G major scale. And the third major scale on my list, we're getting into more unusual territory here, is the F major scale. Okay, now we'll move to the minor scales. So there are four minor scales, but I can only play three of them with F natural in the harp. So the first one would be A minor. The second one is E major. And the third minor scale would be D minor. And now the three neutral scales. So the first is D neutral.
So you can hear the difference between the neutral and the minor scale there is which of the notes are strong and which of the notes are weak or passing notes or missing notes even. And not all notes, not all tunes have such a strong distinction as I'm making here, but that's part of the point of this system. So the second neutral scale will be the A neutral scale. And again, this is like A minor, but it has a different set of notes emphasized and de-emphasized. Right, this... Okay, so sorry, A neutral. Okay, the third neutral scale would be G neutral. And of course, this is this sounds similar to G major, but it's not G major because it has a different set of stronger and weaker. And the fourth neutral scale is E, and we can't play that in this tuning. So, so I'll retune the half with F sharps now, and then we'll do the... Similarly, of the four major scales, we can only play three of, well, of each of the families, we can only play three with the F sharp on the half. So the first major scale is C major. C major, you have to miss the fourth out because the F sharp doesn't fit in, but that's okay. So the second major scale is G major. Okay, we can't play F major, obviously. So the fourth major scale is D major. So the minor ones, 
again we, we can play three out of the four so the first minor scale would be A minor The second minor scale would be E minor. can't play D minor in this tuning, but we can play B minor. And the neutral scales, <clears throat> so the first neutral scale is D neutral. Of course, this would be similar to D major in the same way. Okay, A neutral. Okay, we can't play G neutral in this tuning, but we can play E neutral. So these are all the modes that in my scheme. I haven't yet worked out how comprehensive, useful this scheme is. The first two of each mode I'm thinking of as much more normal and I can instantly think of tunes in them, but the second two in each scheme are getting a lot more odd in their sonorities and their choice of gamut placings, I think. But uh, I need to do a lot more work on this and think harder about is it. It's connected to what's an appropriate place to place a tune on the harp. You have a tune, there are certain places that you can and cannot fit on the range of the harp, but not all the places it can fit are ideal for it. And this is the question about choosing the appropriate position to place a tune on the harp in. So I hope you find that a useful adjunct to the blog posts. And if you haven't seen the blog post yet, go to classac dot scott 
and have a look and you'll see what we're talking about. Thank you very much.